Hello, my name is Jill Enfield. I am a first-generation American through my father, whose family escaped Nazi Germany thanks to the defiant efforts of the Lights family, who founded Leica Cameras. In 1939, they helped my family open the first camera store in Miami Beach, Florida. As a youngster during the 50s, I would overhear questions awkwardly presented to my father because of his German accent at a time when German ancestry was considered controversial. I guess in a way the challenges that faced him became a part of me as a little girl. Around 2005, already an established professional photographer, I learned the century-old technique of wet plate collodion, which made me think of the long-ago portraits of immigrants which were found everywhere as records of their arrival. Each immigrant portrait reminded me of what their lives must have been like. Had they not come, it would have been a great loss to the nation because it is these determined, hard-working visionaries who are a part of the evolution of the United States on its path to greatness. There is no denying that the transportation available to those who chose to leave their ancestral beginnings has become much easier for people today. The difference between the deplorable conditions and hardships of an ocean crossing as compared to a 6-10 to hour flight now is drastic. Convenience of travel is the only thing that has changed. For this reason, the portraits of the immigrants included in this exhibition were made with the same wet plate collodion photographic process, a metaphor to remind the viewer that to choose to be an immigrant remains a perilous path. As for the glass house of immigrant portraits, this started when I relocated to the Hudson Valley and noticed the wonderful antique windows found not only as the signature style of restored historic homes and buildings, but also strewn along highways at flea markets and garage sales, as well as construction sites. Soon our garage was filled with them, and thanks to master craftsman Greg Barnard, the individual components were assembled into a single glass house installation you see now, clear panes replaced with transparent portraits of immigrants from around the world. As they say, people in glass houses should not throw stones. Keep in mind, we are all immigrants in one form or another. Therefore, we are all a part of the soul of this country. And each of us hold a major contribution to our culture and to the culture of the world at large.